I cut the four knives, opened the slots with the CNC machine and then sharpened them. Then I performed the tempering process. I put them in the oven at a temperature of 1050 degrees and then dipped them in oil. I machined the main shaft on the lathe as you can see. I proceeded to build the main pulley. I made the marking and then the cut on the band saw. Here we can see manufacturing on the lathe. Initially we have the facing and then the V-shaped undercuts. Here I opened the slot for the key. Then I performed the machining of the main knife holder disc with the CNC machine. I proceeded to open the holes with the radial drill. Then open the threads for the screws. Here we have the calendaring of the steel alloy plate for the construction of the circular box. With the plasma cutting machine, I cut the side plates of the box in a circular format. Here I opened the central hole to pass the shaft and then cut the sheets in half with the steel guillotine. I made several angle cuts, tubes and bars for the structure with the band saw. After the cuts, I marked and dotted the pieces with the punch. Then I made the holes on the radial drill. Then I proceeded to weld the structure and other parts. Here we have the calendaring of the plate with holes to make a sieve. It was fixed in the circular box. I made the cut on the side to fix the tube where the branches, wooden branches will go. The inlet tube and the sawdust outlet plates were welded to the box. I proceeded to the final finishing of the knife holder disc on the lathe. I built several parts on the lathe to fix them on the knife holder disc. Here I performed the disc calibration using four bearings as we can see. I built the hammers and proceeded to mount them on the knife holder disc. Then I performed the first test to check that everything was fine. As we can see, it runs well. Comment if you liked it.
I proceeded to paint the various pieces. Then I had to make some changes to the structure. Some feet were placed and I had to change the position of the engine as you can see later in the video. Here, with extra help, we proceed to assemble the wood chipper machine. After fixing the disc in the box we put the electric motor. I take the opportunity to tell you that later I will adapt a 7 horse gasoline engine. Sign up to watch this change. Thanks here we place the ribbed trapezoidal type belt. Do you think it got heavy? <laughs> then we will carry out a cutting test on wooden branches. Initially a thinner one and at the end one with 5.5 centimeters. Watch until the end. What do you think? Did it cut well? Comment below. By subscribing to my channel you are helping me create more videos like this one. Thank you all, until the next video.